Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, this is Whoopi speaking. And this afternoon we will speak about uh, Bucking Coil. It is a subject which is uh, in thread it at overunity.com by Chris Syke. Okay. At uh, overunity.com uh, there is a user which is called Wistiti who make a very interesting experiment. So I tried to replicate it exactly the same. Okay, you see here there is a toroidal transformer. On the scheme here you see this toroidal transformer. It is basically 230 volt down to two times 12 volt, but this uh, secondary is not used at all. You can see they are here not used free total. Okay, but I use only the primary and around this uh, toroidal transformer I wanted two coils in bucking effect. These two coils are here. It is 120 turns per coil, 0.5 mm copper wire, and each coil is 1.7 ohms DC resistance. Okay? At the end of this, two coils are connected together here in parallel, and they go to a lamp, a bulb, 12 volt incandescent. You see, it works. Okay, now at the entry here, the input power, we have a power supply which gives 24 volts AC. Okay, as you can see here, there is an implemented voltmeter scope, the same as the output. Okay, now we go to the scope. Everything is stopped now because uh, it is much easier to make the video. I have made already this experiment a lot of time before. As you can see here, we have 50 Hz. It is quite normal in my country. And you see the voltage RMS on channel 1, which is the output, it is 3 volt and 78. And on the input, it is 27.7 volts RMS. Something higher than the nominal, but it is normal also. Okay? Now, on the current, I have put the current here across the input and measure with this high hand true RMS clamp meter. And as you can see here, we have here 40 milliamps RMS input, okay, with 27.7 volts. Okay, now I will take the clamp and put here on the output. See the lamp is glowing, not so much. And we have 0.36 amps, 0.7765, something so. Okay, at uh, 3.78 volt. Okay, so if we make the calculation here, you see that input power is 27.7 volts RMS times 40 milliamps RMS. This is 1.108 watt. And the output is 3.78 volts RMS, 0.36 amps RMS. It is 1.361 watts. And you see there is a small difference but it is more output wattage than the input wattage. Huh. Very interesting. Thank you very much, WSTT, for this experiment, and Chris Syke for your input in the Bucking Coil general thing. Okay, good afternoon at all. Thanks for watching.